countries are meeting in Egypt to discuss next steps in curbing climate change. We are getting dangerously close to the point of no return. And to avoid that dire fate, all G20 countries must accelerate their transition now in this decade. Vulnerable nations want a special compensation fund for the climate impacts they cannot recover from. They want richer countries to pay the bill for the damage caused by sea level rise, drought and extreme storms. Those countries, that uh, the industrialized countries that are mainly responsible for, for, for the destruction, they need to, to sit down with us and, uh, and to, to look at it seriously. But getting real means understanding that it will be self-interest that drives decision makers. What is it worth to you to prevent millions of climate refugees from turning into tens of millions and then hundreds of millions? But big polluters like China and India, among others, remain divided over who should pay for the damage industrial greenhouse gas emissions have caused the planet. Leaders' speeches at COP27 included bold proposals and recommendations to crack down and standardize net zero plants. I am pleased to announce that the Netherlands will be contributing $100 million to the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program through the Climate Action Window of the African Development Fund. We have a credibility problem, all of us. We're talking and we're starting to act, but we're not doing enough. The annual climate summit comes at a time that extreme weather events exacerbated by climate change are more frequent and destructive. A new U.S. government report tracked 20 climate-related disasters in that country last year and said the storms killed nearly 700 people and cost the U.S. about $145 billion. We are not currently on a pathway that keeps 1.5 in reach. The report also found the United States is one of the world's worst offenders in contributing to the climate crisis. The study says the U.S. has warmed 68 percent faster than the planet as a whole over the past 50 years. Canada is sending a delegation to COP27 and the government says it plans to support successful and ambitious outcomes at the summit that are in line with the Paris Agreement's long-term goals. We are on a highway to climate hell with our foot still on the accelerator.